Hey guys, it's Jasmine, your brow expert. Thank you for joining me and thank you for subscribing. And if you guys haven't already, please do so. So that way I could keep giving you guys all the tricks and tips that I have accumulated over the 25 years of shaping eyebrows at the Anastasia Beverly Hills Salon. So if you guys are around the neighborhood, you should come by and get your brows done by yours truly. Anyway, so can you tell what's wrong with my eyebrows? And if you picked it out, then you're, you're already learning. And if you're wondering what's wrong, well, the front, right? The front of my eyebrows is too dark and too square. So you're like, aha, I knew that. This is an easy, easy fix, you guys. If you don't do it yourself, I'm sure you've seen it on the social media uh, makeup brow tutorials or or I don't know, in the magazines, anywhere that you see where it's like, oh, those brows are a little dark and very square. <laughs> now, if you like this look, this is not to say it's bad. This is just not my version of nice and natural. <laughs> and so, but it is tricky, right? It's tricky to get the brows nice and full, but not so straight and square. If you don't have much hair up in the front, a lot of us don't. I wasn't born with much hair which is why I've had my brows microbladed. And for those of you that have nice, full, thick eyebrows, the front is still sometimes a little sparse, right? So we tend to be a little heavy handed up in the front because it's the easiest area to start uh, drawing in the eyebrows. So it's also really hard to try to take off so much of that color you put on. So keep that in mind, put more focus on the middle to the end of the eyebrow first and work your way towards the front of the eyebrow so you're not as heavy handed. But if you can't uh, draw your eyebrows until you do the front first, go ahead and do that. Just keep in mind in your head that you're not gonna apply as much pressure and you're not gonna go so straight. But this, this video, there's a lot of buts here. This video is for you guys that have done this, that wants to fix it, but you don't have a lot of time now or you don't want to go back and start all over again, right? I mean, who wants to do that too? Because let's face it, the brows are the trickiest part of your makeup. You can probably do your eyelashes, mascara much quicker, even put maybe putting false lashes and doing your eye, uh, your lips and your concealer, but the brows take the longest. So I am here to help for those of you that have this brow and you want to fix it. And you've seen maybe in the past some of my videos where I say go in the middle and make it softer. So, okay, you guys ready? Do you have these brows right now? You guys could go along, follow along and do it with me. Okay, so you see the straight line right here. I'm going to just place a little circle or do a little dot in the middle of the eyebrow right here. Just a little circle. I'm just pushing it out a tiny bit like that. Okay, so again, let's do the other side. Oh, you know what? Let's leave that other side so that way you guys can see the difference, okay? You do that little dot or circle circle in the middle of that line. Already easy, right? You don't wanna to go too much because again, if your brows are already symmetrical or you're in, it's right at that spot where you guys know by now it's at the pinch of the nose straight up and down. So if it's right where it's supposed to be, you don't wanna, draw that circle too far in, right? Okay, so you do that little dot or right in the, uh, that did that little circle. Now from that circle, I'm gonna just start doing like a, like a little C or a moon, right? You, you're just going right up here to kind of make that circle more like a C now. And you go in the underneath and go right here. So, and then you're just doing the circle inside the eyebrows. So that way you're keeping it more here, you're not drawing it too far out this way. So I'm just going a little circle back and forth and I'm pushing it a tiny bit. Now I'm going up here, I'm smoothing out that circle now. Smoothing out here and I'm smoothing down here. Okay, do you guys see already such a big difference from here, right? It's not so straight up and down and it almost gives it more of a natural curve, right? But it's still dark. <laughs> right you're like okay well how do you do how do you tone down the darkness well the spoolie brush of course right but the trick is you guys is to go right at that top corner here and then right at that bottom corner here right see that and i'm just now going over this very lightly 
and it's all about scratching what you just did so that way it smooths smooths out that um, harsh corners and it tones down the color so i'm just going back and forth just very lightly see do you guys notice the difference already that it's making so easy right and then you can always go back to it you can just smooth out right at that corner and just right here so think of it as a big um, half moon by the time you're done it should be kind of a half moon <laughs> and the top being soft right here so that's this is about the easiest tip i have for you guys right so if it, if it makes it easy for you to do that straight line you know that not all is lost you know that all you have to do is that little circle right up in the front now i can't get over what a huge difference that is right tone down the rest here i mean the spoolie brush is the best invention whoever invented this is a genius <laughs> i always say those kinds of things with certain uh, macgyver types of i'm like are you a macgyver do you guys remember that show and if you don't that means that i'm really old now <laughs> okay so right at that corner and this is really the only area that i want soft and curved for my face it's better if I have it more of a straight kind of lower look right here in the eyebrow and fuller because I'm Asian and my eyelids are more flat. It's better if it's much straighter here, but I don't care what ethnic background you are and how much space you have on your eyelid. That straight look is, I don't think very attractive on anybody. So this is your tip. So make sure you pass along this tip to anyone that you know, maybe even have the front of the eyebrow just darker than they should or you should. Um, so it's not so much straight, but just too dark. This might help as well. But it's all about the spoolie and it's all about light pressure. Really, I mean, it's always about the pressure. It's sometimes it's never, sometimes it's rarely about the, the color being too dark. As long as you have the right shade, that's the most important thing. And with light pressure, you're going to have it much softer. And I hope this helps. You guys see the difference? How cool is that? And you know, just by even looking back on this video, it wasn't a lot that you have to do. Just a little bit right up in the front. And it just really makes the biggest difference. So try this out. Please let me know if it worked out. Please subscribe. Give me that like and give me a comment to let me know that this helped you guys. Okay, so I will see you guys back here and have a great day. Bye.